Treasury yields made a new low today, dipping their toe in the 10-year below 60 basis points for the first time really since mid-May. Uh, it didn't last very long. Obviously, the market came back when the positive news came out of the vaccine world. Uh, equities making new highs. It seemed to me the risk off trade, uh, risk on trade, excuse me, was back in play. But we didn't get too far above that. So holding that range, that 55 to 75 basis point range, we did dip our toe below 60 basis points today, which suggests that we are erring on the side of caution in the bond market. We will continue to do so. So watch out for that. We will settle inside of the old range. But again, nearing that that line in the sand, that 55 basis points, we get there it could be it could mean that things are looking ugly uh market volatility saw a little uptick this morning after we made those new lows but nothing that would call a spike and ended the day lower again heading into a weekend so market really not any, very seeing much concern here in the shorter day of volatility still a little bit elevated in the back month but lower on the week as well so everything just sort of moving in step uh to, with ever with the way the equities are trading bond market holding the range uh, it seems pretty normal that volatility would be lower again a volatility is going to pick up towards the end of the year as we get closer to those november elections that for that you can take to the bank but at this point uh, it seems to me that volatility seems very, very quiet here as we continue to hold the range despite the move lower in yields today. Lastly, uh, next week, we've got a few things on the calendar. We've got CPI, obviously, uh, fear or risk of deflation. Uh, if we see a, a negative number, or will we start to see any price inflation out there? Certainly, we're paying higher for energy prices, but uh, at this point, it seems to be a tug of war, uh, given what we saw with PPI earlier this week. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the CPI number shows. Secondly, we have retail sales. Retail sales came out la last month, a big huge number. Can we follow that up? Uh, I don't know if we'll get to the exact level we got last month, but certainly we need to continue to keep pace with stronger numbers in order to keep uh, keep the keep the economy moving towards positive, towards we move out of those lockdowns uh, and get the Fed to kind of take a step back from what they're doing and maybe even uh, not look for the Congress to not add any more stimulus at this point. But retail sales, CPI next week. Uh, lastly, we also have uh, bank earnings, which will be very much closely looked at. There's there's anticipation that there'll be some some very positive bank earnings coming out next week. Certainly, that's to, there, if there isn't, there'll be some concern in the market. But right now, all expectations are that banks are doing great, or at least that their earnings will be will be better than expected. So heading into the weekend, Treasury yields made a new low, but we're unable to sustain it. And we'll go back out for, ahead of the weekend inside the old range. But look out next week. We do have a few things on the calendar that could move us. And the risks here are that yields go lower sooner.